Welcome to anthropologist and author of Why We Love, Helen Fisher. And Geraldo has been kind enough to stick around because he's going to hear what uh, Helen has to say about him. I'm curious about this. I may regret that. You're not going to regret it, please. <laughs> All right, so Helen, just give me a little, little uh, info on the study. The study basically says I can look at Geraldo for right. instance and I can say, well, I'm out now, I'm single and he's single. He's, he's going to be a good boyfriend or, or he's going to be just a you know, guy, guy around town. Right. Well, you can, I mean, it's because of testosterone, and testosterone builds a strong jaw, larger nose, heavy mm -hmm. brow ridges, um, uh, higher <laughs> cheekbones. Okay, uh, well, let's, let's analyze Geraldo as you're saying this. Uh, let's <laughs> start with the jaw. The jaw. What kind well, of he definitely has a very male jaw. I mean, he's very high testosterone very in the manly. jaw. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Let's see, brow, let's see. the. It's softer there. I mean, it's a, it's a softer over the eyes, oh, uh, which is more, uh, you, know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can be high testosterone and high estrogen too football players are so um, and because you are a journalist I mean that's uh, a person who is very good with words which is high estrogen and he doesn't very good have beady skills. eyes his eyes are not beady so you're a good mix of, um, of masculine features and but I don't know if I were walking into a bar would I think you were a player probably oh <laughs> married my girlfriend. <laughs> Doesn't it always come down to, though, it seems like it would always come down to, well, the masculine, duh, 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 that means that he's a hot guy, and the other, you know, the other side is that he's not as attractive? Is that Well, right? um, he's very attractive. I mean, men with a softer face are very attractive for Matthew a long-term relationship. Matthew very attractive. And then, in fact, that's what they found in the study, that women are much more attracted to the men with the softer face but you're not when saying, they want a long-term relationship. But softer doesn't mean less, less good-looking, does it? No. Okay. Um, they did measure the... Women tend to think the very masculine face is better looking. And in fact, at the very moment when they're ovulating, they will go for the most attractive face. Because Why? they want their better gene. A ver very high testosterone. <laughs> How can you tell when the woman's ovulating? <laughs> so you know, you segment, <laughs> can you Nobody is there like that. an antenna? You, go, ding, ding, ding. you know what's so interesting about that is that you don't walk into a bar empty handed. You've got all kinds of brain mechanisms that pick up on whether a woman is ovulating, on whether a woman is... Yeah. In fact, a look woman becomes... Look at how nervous Geraldo looks sitting there. You look very uncomfortable. <laughs> women get better looking. Honey, I love you. I've loved you for eight years. I've been solid ever... Baby, ever... <laughs> Just... You know... <laughs> One of these, one of these, you know, strong-jawed men cannot, at some point, become a, a, a you know, a homebody. That's really guy. important. I mean, we, we, you know, we make choices in our lives, even as extremely good-looking people. Do. George Clooney, extremely good-looking. Right. For instance. Let's take a really quick look at him. But you know what? Um, testosterone goes down as you get older, and so a man who's a real player when he's young will begin to settle down. And but George oh. Clooney is a, has a very manly face. One of these, you know, testosterone lustful he's got guys. All of the signs of it. I mean, oh, well. very heavy brow. He it's fits the bill, that's for sure. Okay. When we come back, Helen is going to examine the faces of some men in our studio audience. We'll see what their girlfriends say about whether or not their lovers are lusters. Welcome back to the morning show. There's a new study out of the UK. It says women can tell a player from a potential husband just by looking at his face. Back with us is anthropologist Helen Fisher. Um, let's continue with the celebrities. Let's take a look at Tom Hanks. Now, Tom Hanks. I will look. I think he's very handsome. He is yeah. handsome, but he's a small. It's a much softer face. You can see the jaw is not prominent. He does not have the heavy brow ridges. Uh, when he had more hair, he probably had a shorter forehead. Uh, he does not have the the the, the heavy um, uh, cheekbones. He's he's not. Uh, he's got more estrogen in him. So if I'm a single girl and I I'm look, I'm thinking, okay, it's time for me to get into a relationship, and I go into a bar and Tom right. Hanks is standing there and George Clooney and Brad Pitt are standing right. there, who am I right. gonna go? Well, I know who I'd go for, but, but you'd be in trouble. I, but I want a relationship, so um, there's a guy. You know, there are guys that all the women are staring at, and then there's another guy that maybe not all the women are staring right. at. Which which guy am I going to go for? Well, if you really want a long-term relationship, you're going to look at that extremely handsome man. And you're going to say, I don't think so. I'm going to spend my entire life doing what they call mate guarding. Yeah, because there's going to be people who are posting. I mean, oh, yes. You've got to spend all your time protecting them. Yeah, so do I. Yeah. All right. You well, there, what about so if you're somebody who's just gotten out of a relationship and all right. you have to do is pot egg, you yeah. know, meet guys? Yeah. But you're going to go you're... over the hot guy because you don't Absolutely. feel like he's serious. Absolutely. And, um, for example, let's say you're on a two-week vacation in France or something, and you're going to go for the most handsome man on the beach. And he will have the most testosterone, and he will be the sexiest. But, again, that doesn't mean that they won't settle down. And it doesn't that's mean that every really important guy... for you to say, Juliet, really, because the thing is we, we make choices in our life. 
and particularly as men get older, uh, you know, they've done their playing and they've learned from the experiences and they want to settle down. So this study is important because it starts, if we, if we analyze it a little bit for ourselves, we start to realize we need to go for the man who is the most available if we want to have a relationship and well you've got to sort of listen to your intuition, uh, to your intuition. you know I mean in fact I you know I've on this um, I created this uh, 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 dating site chemistry.com and I've studied 30,000 people and women do they do they're directly pulled to certain uh, genetic types that complement them. Well, let's take a look at a couple of couples out here. We're going to start with Rachel and Ron. Rachel and Ron, how, how long have you guys been together? Um, two months. Two months. Right? two months. So it's a fairly new relationship. Now, Rachel, looking at Ron, what kind of uh, what kind of guy is Ron going to be? Do you think, Helen? Oh, he's going to be a sweetheart. <laughs> you know, he's got that uh, uh, more of a round face, um, not heavy brow ridges, uh, um, a softer jaw. Uh, he's probably very verbal. He's probably uh, very compassionate. He probably has very good people skills. Are you finding and he's probably uh, he's probably he, that's a good bet. Okay, <laughs> let's take a look at Rachel. Uh, excuse me, Heather and Eric. Heather and Eric, let's move over to the next. Uh, I've had a lot of plastic surgery though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's Heather and Eric. Now you guys have been together for how long? About three years. Three years. No yeah. engagement on the way or anything like that? It's, it's yeah. possible. It's possible. possible. <laughs> Helen, let's take a look at uh Well, he's a Eric there. mix. Uh, you know, I mean, he's got the very strong jaw, which is very masculine. Very he's as strong as I mean it juts out? or what is Sometimes it? it juts out, but it's very broad. You can see how broad his jaw okay. is. And sometimes it can be very long also. But he's got a softer uh, forehead. So he's a good mix of male and, you know, the okay, estrogen. So that's that's good news. He probably, <laughs> probably will stick around, although it has taken a a while. All right, there's the bachelor there, John. <laughs> Let's take a look at John. What kind of features do you think he has? Well, first of all, he's enormously good looking, so he probably does have some trouble. He is a good looking guy. <laughs> now, if, I, like, went in, if I went into a bar, I would think, John, yeah, this, this guy would have all the, he's tall, all the girls would be falling all That's high time. testosterone also. Tall. And he's got the uh, jaw of the testosterone. But you know what? He's not the George Clooney type of high testosterone. There's a softness to his face that uh, <laughs> John, he, he, could be, he could be a good bet, too. Are you a player, John? No. You're not. not you like to settle down. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, well, that's good to know. <laughs> I mean, not for me, I'm saying. It's, it's just good to know in general. And men read women's faces, too, extremely accurately. Really? Yeah. We're going to have to have you back for that one. Thank you very much, Helen. This is really interesting study for more information on it. Log on to mnjshow.com.